Jonathan Bay throwbacks. Um, I got an eBay pickup, uh, uh, old Mitchell Ness 49ers jersey off eBay. Got it for super cheap and it had free shipping, so pretty good. Came in a couple days. Um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be too big just by the measurements they have, but I said for the price, I got it anyway. If it's, if it's way too big, I'm just gonna, um, uh, they don't take returns, but I'm just gonna uh, sell it. And if it's not too big, and I get back, if I can manage it, uh, even with like a sweater under something, then I'll keep it, so we'll see. But uh, let's just get into it. So, of course the person, guys, if you, if you sell jerseys, don't send them like this, like, don't be cheap like it's not right don't sell them within this bent uh, look at the numbers it's authentic jerseys that's super annoying so that person's not going to get the greatest um review or whatever from me because it's like come on you, you like you don't even have to be a jersey head to just like understand that concept so it's it's come on let, let's get you know get things right but anyways so we got a dave wilcox 1964 49ers jersey. Oh, that's frustrating. I just wish people would just like come on. Like, it, I feel like it's obvious, but people just don't use their brains. It's kind of annoying. Hundred percent polyester. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna throw it on now, and let's see um, how it fits. All right, so I'm just gonna throw it on with the nice bended numbers. Guys, if you saw jerseys, put them in a box, please. Like, come on. That's just it's just annoying. Sorry, but. Right, the next feels good, but I think it's, oh yeah, it's big. Let me see. Uh, yeah, it's pretty big. I mean, yeah, I'm going to throw a sweater under and see what happens. Right, well, I got the hoodie on, so let's see what. Nice and thick. Either way, I'm going to do a review on the jersey close up, but let's just see. I'd love to keep this jersey. Someone on Kings of Throwbacks had it, has this in a 44, which would probably be a little, which would, well, it might be tight. It might just fit perfect, but it's autographed, which I know people would usually want that, but I just I like to wear mine. So I don't like autographs. Huh? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can keep it. I mean, I have a hockey jersey that's probably this big, a team issue, Sharks. I don't know. Like I said, my jeans are usually, I think, a little bigger than these, so it might look not as bad, but I don't know. I guess I'll decide what I'm going to do. But either way, uh, that's 1980, it's 1964 uh, Niners, Dave Will Cox. So I'm going to just do a review now, close up, and we'll see what we see. Start so down here, we got the jock tag. Dave Wilcox, San Francisco 49ers, 64. You got the Sammy Ball. Uh, authentic NFL throwback tag as well. Look on the inside right here. 100% polyester. Not anything on this side. Nothing on the other side. Well, we can see. You can't see the stitching, though. Um, yeah, so it's 100% polyester. It's supposed to be like that Doreen. Material. Obviously not too much going on. Come up here, you got the single stitch. Jersey's definitely beat up a little bit, but it's all good. I mean, they did explain that, so I knew that already. You got the single stitch, 64. Pretty thick jersey, just to also point out. Come up here, we got the Mitchell and Ness. Uh, made in Korea, so we got a Korea run. Size 52. I like that nice and shiny red. Let's go to the sleeves. Both sleeves are the same, so I'll just show one. You got the single stitched six, single stitched four. So three stripes. Let's look at the stitching from the inside. If I can get it. Eh, too much. Flip it. Same thing, no name on the back. They weren't using names yet, so it's pretty much the same. Single stitched. 64. 
Yeah, like that. Not like I said, not too much to show. Pretty simple jersey. 1964 San Francisco 49ers. Doreen, Dave Wilcox. Right, because how big this jersey is, um, I was thinking of selling it, but I just can't let it go because I don't know where I'll find it again. I know someone has one in my size, but it's autographed on the front. So, like I said, I just, I don't know. I just rather have it without an autograph. So, what I'm going to do is going to go right now to the um, tailor and just see what they can do. I, you know, I bought this for a really cheap price with free shipping as well. So, it's like, why not? So, I'm going to see what they could do, try to make it shorter and um, tighter a little bit. And just try to make it work, you know. If they screw it up, I mean, you know, I didn't lose too much money out of it. So, I'm just going to see. I'm just worried how it's going to work with the jog tags because I do still want these there. But it's not the biggest deal. Um, but that's that. So, I'll probably post a video when I get it uh, remade and see how it fits. So, and now I'll go more into, you know, Dave Wilcox. But that's that. eBay pickup. Oh. And one more thing I forgot to mention. It also has this, this uh, sewing right here, which you will see on the, if you look at pictures of these jerseys from this time, you'll see that. I don't know if you can see that stitching right there. If I'm not mistaken, it's like, I think it's supposed to be for the shoulders. I mean, not the shoulders, the um, the elbows, if I'm not mistaken. So I don't know if you can see that right there, yep. All right, well, I'm out.